Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. It is Expresso. We're jamming into your Friday and the weekend. It's beautiful. I it love it. It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And something I love is a bit of DIY. Yeah. So to all our DIY enthusiasts and lovers of all things art, get ready because you are going to love this next wall feature. Uh, yeah, here's a question. Have you ever created a gallery wall? Okay, showcasing joyful vacation and family memories in your home. Mm -hmm. Have you? Mm -hmm. Well, fashion and lifestyle blogger Megan Pedro, she is about to turn turn a blank canvas into a statement gallery wall. Welcome to my masterclass. I'm Megan Pedro, fashion, beauty, and decor stylist. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to turn this blank canvas into a gorgeous gallery wall using recycled frames from Woolworths. So you might be asking yourself, what is a gallery wall? A gallery wall is a collection of beautiful photos, frames, prints, mirrors, and sometimes even plants. So to create your statement gallery wall, let's talk about the frames. We've got a beautiful white, which provides a classic look to your wall. A stunning yet chic black, as well as a beautiful neutral wood. This provides such a warmth in your home and really brings in neutral elements to your gallery wall. I've gone with a variety of sizes, which is great because you can also play with it being portrait and landscape. This provides you with endless amounts of options for your gallery wall. So here's what you need to create your dream gallery wall. A hammer, measuring tape, spirit level, nails, a pencil, your recycled frames from Woolworths, and let's not forget about our ladder. So step one to create your beautiful gallery wall is picking a theme. I've gone with a very beautiful monochromatic travel inspired look. It really reminds me of my travels with my family. So I feel like that with hints of nature will just make this wall pop. Step two, measure twice, actually make that thrice. Because you're using different size frames, it's really important that you nail this. Excuse the pun intended. Step three is the mock-up. I suggest you find a beautiful surface, lay all your prints out. It does not have to be symmetrical. It just has to please your eye. So now that I've found my layout, I'm gonna start with my centerpiece. This is gonna make it so much easier for you to build your other frames around it. So the first one is up, let's start building the rest. I'm about to start on the next layer of the gallery wall. I'm going to center this piece with our hero piece at the bottom. I've incorporated some beautiful greenery, which is really going to pull your eye straight in. I've just finished this layer with all my beautiful portrait photography. I'm now going to square off my gallery wall and add these stunning landscapes. I'm about to hang my last frame. And as you can see, there are a couple of gaps. I've got a few things up my sleeve to finish this gallery wall. And that brings me to step four, which is incorporating other elements into your beautiful gallery wall. I'm doing this by adding a beautiful statement mirror from Woolies. Now that my mirror is hung and secure, making it a super functional wall, I'm gonna dress up the space, bringing in little bits of greenery. This is my final gallery wall. Just a selection of my favorite travel memories and photography. Now it's time for you to recreate this using the recycled frames from Woolworths. You can shop it in store, online, or using that. That is so inspiring, Zoe. I mean, how beautiful. You are a DIY queen, so I you know. Am. And I took many tips from Megan yeah. Pedro. Of course, she yeah. did such a beautiful job turning mm -hmm. that blank wall into a beautiful gallery, art gallery. Yep, from some art-inspired DIY tips from Mrs. Pedro to some kitchen tips from Mr. Pedro. Is he here? He's here! Yay! <laughs>